Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, I am Luke Trefem, and yes, I am wearing a Man United shirt. I am a Man United fan. Um, I wasn't proud with that performance against Coventry, though. So, yeah, I'm not uh, a proud Man United fan at this current moment. But anyway, um, I think it goes quite nicely with my mask. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you all had a good weekend. Um, I don't think I got up to too much that I can remember. But, yeah, um, hope you're all right. And um, thank you, as always, for following me, subscribing me. I now have hit the 1,000 subscribers. Woo! So, um, yeah, so I'm happy with that. So thank you for subscribing to me. Um, the Cody Rhodes announcement video did really well, so that helped. But um, thank you to the people who watched my Football Manager and TW 2020 stuff. Much appreciated. So, yeah. Um, where you left us off last, let's just have a look. We were, uh, we are currently top by four points, so we're doing really well. We're on track at the moment. Let's hope we can keep up with that, because, like I said, this season's not the real test. Next season's the real test, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll be back after the small intro, and uh, we'll crack on. Right, we're back. Yeah, so as I said before, we are currently four points clear of Orleans. Uh, FC Martiques in New York, they're all, they've all got 31 points. So, yeah, so it's going well. Let's just have a look at the fixtures. So, yes, yeah, so we lost the last game in the Coupe de France ninth round, but we were playing Lille, who are two divisions ahead of us, and let's be honest, a lot better team. So it was expected, but, you know, we did well to get to the ninth round. Um, we give a, quite a few of our youngsters some game time and they've done really well. Um, current top scores, current top goal scorer is uh, Nadri Philippe Kofé. Um, he has 12 goals in 13 games so far. So he's doing really well. Um, we've managed to sign him into a new contract as well, luckily. So yeah, so that's good. Um, let's have a look at who else is uh, getting the goals in. Selection info, that's the one. Yeah, Alex uh, Dejo, talented young winger. And then we've got Mwemba, who was part of our youth team. We've really promoted him to the first team. He's doing really well. Uh, eight goals in six games for the reserves youth team. And then four goals for us in three games. So he's doing really well. Um... Yeah, hold on. Let's have a look. Oh, that's why. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, one thing I wanted to ask you is, anybody that watches these videos, can you let me know in the comment section if you like the new thumbnail that I managed to do for this series, or do you prefer? Did you prefer the old one? Because if you prefer the old one, and I'll change it back. But just let me know because I'm trying to um, get better at my making thumbnails. Um, and trying to get people wanting to click on the videos so just let me know if the if it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down for the new thumbnail if you don't mind um but yeah can you just put thumbnail and thumbs up thumbs down because if you put thumbs down i'm going to think you don't like the video <laughs> which is fine i don't mind you not liking the video but um yeah anyway we've got a match coming up now we are playing um fc the Salis 78. Sorry, I didn't think to go through the lineup. Um, Patoulet, Ngol, Galvez, Yagne, uh, Mustafif, Mustafik, sorry, and then we've got, oh, Teller, who's Teller? I've never seen him before. Lenny Teller, oh, he's not very good. Um, Accra and Kayembe Tete. And then Makalu, Deho on the wings, Tatar and Koilia up front. So I think we might have a few injuries or the assistant manager has decided to rotate a bit. But yeah, let's see how we get up. Got a potential, uh, potential new debut here for uh, Mocio Gonzalez de Mora. There seems to be a lot of Portuguese-sounding French players in here. 
yeah, there's a few that you would think, oh, like him, Gonzalez de Moura. You would think he is Portuguese, but he's French. Unless he's Portuguese and French, uh, there is that. Let's have a look. Sorry, getting sidetracked here. No, oh, Carpe Vado. That's it. That's 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 the reason. There you go. Yeah, watching that Man United versus Coventry game was very painful as a Man United fan. Um, I was actually cheering for Coventry near the end of it. I wanted Coventry to win because I just think I think if we lost, I think they would have had no choice but to sack um, Ten Hag there and then, I think. I don't think they'll sack him because it'll cost them too much in compensation. I think they'd rather just... Money's important to them, understandably, but I think they'd rather just have him for another season, even if we do really bad. They'd have to pay compensation because of FFP. Um, I personally think when it comes to FFP, I think managers and coaches shouldn't count towards it. But that's just my opinion. If you have a different opinion, let me know in the comment section. Let's get some engagement going on in the uh, comment section. Right, then. Uh, thank you to the people who have been leaving comments and stuff, though. That, that is much appreciated. And also liking the videos. Oh, that was a good goal by them. Fair play to him. They are absolutely all over us. We haven't had a single shot in this half. What is going on? Oh, we've had a shot at last. Oh, we've had three shots now. We're finally, get, finally getting off our arse and doing something. A bit too late, though, for my liking. Hopefully, second half will be better. Very quiet game, this one. Not many highlights. Well, well done there. Go on, Ooh. Free kick by Fatah. See, we're getting into this game now. I feel like it's a bit... I feel like we're leaving it a bit late, though. We still might win. Um, I think we'll get a draw, if, at least. Oh, no. Famous last words. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, okay. Right, let's do some tinkering here. Uh, who else needs to come off? McCoy. No, can't take you off. We haven't got anybody to put on for you. His position is he. He's a central defender. Uh, he's a defender as well. Left back, right back. I would say the defence has been rubbish, but Lacoya needs to come off, really. But we haven't really got anybody. Oh, well, we'll just have to make do now. We're just going to have to pass this as a loss. Learn from it. <laughs> right, we, oh, we have the counter-attack from the opposition corner. Let's see if we can make something out of this. Hopefully we can. No, we can't. Terrible. Now they're going to counter attack and probably score. Uh, just to let you know about Baxter. I went to my mum's yesterday. My mum's got four dogs, so my little dog Baxter was in. Uh, he was in great spirits. He got to have some dogs to play with, even though none of them wanted to play with him. But uh, towards the end, my mum's youngest dog is two years old. Oh, good goal by them. Um, Rose, she started to play with um, him a bit. She didn't. She growls at him and tries and bites him if he, if he went near her. But by the end of it, she was quite intrigued by him and started trying to play with him a little bit. Um, so that was good. 
So it's good that hopefully they can get on and they can become friends and play with each other because they're both young dogs. Um, the other dogs that my mum's got are all like, um, there's Benji who's 12, um, and then Poppy, she's seven, and uh, Lil, who was my nan's dog, but my mum inherited her when my nan died uh, two years ago. She's about eight or nine now, so they're a bit old. All they, they, they mostly just like to sit and have a bit of a fuss and just be kept to themselves. They don't want a young dog running after them, trying to chase them and play with them all the time. Um, and Rose is two now, so she's calmed down a lot since she was a puppy. So um, she doesn't particularly want a puppy around her now, which is quite funny because she used to terrorise the other dog. So I said, that's karma coming back to bite you in the bum, Rose. But yeah, so that was nice. We had a nice time. Then we went out for a meal. Um, my brother got my brother got married on Saturday, so we went out for a family meal. Um, the wedding cake was very nice. I thoroughly enjoyed eating it. Uh, there you go. And then we came back with my girlfriend and we watched um, Dune Dune 2, D-U-N-E 2. Uh, not my cup of tea, but because my um, my poor girlfriend had to put up with watching the Man United game, I said, I said well, you can watch a film when we uh, finish watching the football. So it's a bit of give and take in the relationship. Um, so she had a nap while the Man United game was on because it was that boring. Um well, the first half was quite boring because it seemed like just a dominant win that we were, and then the second half it picked up. She woke up after the second half finish, and I said, "Look at the score." And she looked at the score, and then I was like, "What do you think happened?" And she said, "Oh, she said Man United winning, and then they end up drawing." I said, "Yep." <laughs> she don't even watch football, and she knows exactly what happened. Ah, uh, Man United just doing Man United things, eh? We were very lucky to win that penalty shootout. I tell you now. Anyway, all right, onwards and upwards. Um, yeah, we need to come, we need to win our next game to keep the fans happy. We shouldn't have lost that game. We're still top, but we're only top by three points. Right then, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a sec with the next part. Here we are then, big game against Neil. Very big game. They are fifth at the moment. We just lost against Versailles. We should have won, so... I'm a bit worried about this game. Um, we've got Fontaine back though, which will be good. Drame's back. Vital, Vital, Viltal's back. Uh, we've got Kazard in there. Uh, we're still lacking up front. We need um, Kofi, but I think he's injured. Um, no, he's not injured. Why is he not playing? My assistant manager's a bit of a wally at times. Oh, Boris isn't in either. Right, put Boris in. More because of match fitness. Uh, lacking match sharpness. Okay. Hopefully it will be fine. We will see. Okay. There we go. Right. Hopefully we can... Uh, Score early, get the confidence up after our embarrassing loss last game. It's good to have Boris and Fontaine back. They're a lot better partnership in defence. What a ball! That's Steve. That's why. That's why we have bloody Kofi in the team. Not only can he score, he can pick up passes like that. I don't know why my assistant manager wasn't playing him. Good start to the game. Let's see if we can get a few in this one. Come back with a strong performance to reassure the fans that we're not going to mess this up. And we will get promoted. Good anticipation there by um, Galvez. Boris with the ball. To Drame. Well, Drame, what are you doing? Good tackle there, Fontaine. This is why we have Fontaine back in the team. He's that experienced pro that we need. Oh, great turn there by Fartar. Uh, I could have done better with the finish, though. Viltard with the corner. 
get tethered out. Qatar gives it, oh, tries to give it back to Viltar, but gets intercepted by their player. He's actually pretty good, Manark Billy. He ends up becoming a really good player. Um, if this was not a youth only save, I would be trying to sign Billy because he works, he, he ends up becoming, a, like I said, a really good right back. In fact, if I show you him. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, Man Manek Billy. So if anybody is doing a save on Football Manager, give him a scout, maybe sign him. He ends up becoming, he's only 18 on this save at the moment. But he does end up becoming like, I think he ends up playing for top teams. I can't remember. I remember him from my Ray Rover save, but I don't, know, I don't know if he was playing for a top team in Scotland, so I could be wrong. I think I had him at some point with Ray Rovers, actually. I can't remember. I haven't got the, I haven't got the save uh, anymore to check it. All right, let's get this second goal. Let's get the, let's get, uh, oh, no, didn't work out well in the end. Um, uh, Neil seem to be getting all the possession now, which is quite concerning. Drame, go on, Boris, give it back to Drame. He knows what he's doing. Fontaine across to Bastion. Good pass. Go on, Fatar. Drame. Viltard, oh, good save. Oh, I thought that was a, I thought the goalie saved that. All right, Galvez. Boris now to Fontaine. Pass. Nice little partnership, them two. They, they, uh, they're our version of Ferdinand and Vidic. I think we got a penalty. Right, Maka. Uh, no, sorry, Mesalu, Mesalu. Good little penalty that was. I'm glad we've got the lead again. I was starting to get worried there. Right, fortunately, Mesa Lou's injured, so we've got to take him off. Put on Michelle. Diego Michel. Oh God, this is going to be interesting. Free kick inside the box. Good save, good clearance. Okay, Galvez is coming off. Wasn't particularly playing play all in this game anyway, so it's not a bad thing. Oh, I forgot to say I went to um I don't think I talked about I don't think I've talked about um the WWE show I went to in a video yet. So uh yeah, me and my girlfriend went to watch WWE in Birmingham last week. Um really enjoyable. Um there was a couple of idiots um sat behind me who were screaming in my ear basically kicking the chair in excitement you wouldn't have think they were like 28 20 well in their mid-20s but they acting like children and then they um accidentally spilt beer over everybody um and then and in the end they end up being in the wrong seats and um basically would end up in front of us and yeah they were just they were just idiots they were winding me up um I really, really wanted to punch them, but obviously we can't do that as civilized community. We uh, unfortunately can't just hit people that annoy us. So um, yeah, but anyway, but other than that, it was a, it was a really good show. Um, Jay Uso is the most probably other than Cody the most over person, over babyface on the roster. So the first match was. Uh, a four-way match for Sami Zayn's and Intercontinental title with Finn Balor, Chad Gable and Gunther uh, versus Sami Zayn. 
So unfortunately, it, was, it wasn't very long, but it was enjoyable for what it was. Um, but yeah, it was a good match. And then um, I think the next match was Shayna and Zuri versus Tiga Knox and Natalia. Um, even though it was ended last week, I can't seem to remember. Jay Uso versus Drew McIntyre was one of the matches. Uh, main event was Cody versus uh, Nakamura. But um, yeah, it was it was it was really enjoyable. But my girlfriend loved it because she's only just got into watching wrestling in the last say six months, and she really loves Cody. So she was happy that he was there. It was a nice surprise that Becky was there because we didn't think Becky was going to be there because uh, after WrestleMania, it's not, it. it there was rumours that she's taking time off, similar to Seth Rollins. Um, but yeah, so um, that was a pleasant surprise. Um, but yeah, it was overall it was a good show. It was a bit expensive though. The the food and drinks cost me about for the two of us cost about forty quid, and then parking was fourteen quid. Fourteen bloody quid for parking. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, it was enjoyable. Anyway, right. I'll uh, I'll be back in a sec. Right. So here we are. We're playing JCB. Um, because I can't, GC, GCB, sorry, because I cannot pronounce their name properly, um, their first name properly, but yeah, so we managed to sell a couple of players in the January transfer window, Kevin Zoll being one of them, goes, went to Sense Entineer, um, so, and we got 20% profit on the next deal there, so if he goes on to do well and get a move to a bigger club, We'll make some money on him. So yeah, so anyway, this is our lineup. Um Fontaine and Boris is still in there, DeCosta's back. So this is probably our strongest defense goalie combination, and then as that's probably our strongest midfield combination. Um Dosu is on the right, Pizard on the left. I would say probably Deo is probably more preferred on the left, but I don't think he's available. And then we've got Kofi up front with Fatar. So let's see how we get on. Fatar has done better than, than Zol did. So I'm happy with um, Fatar having more first team football. But yeah, we're still top by three points overall leans. Viltard with the free kick. I think it's a bit too far out for him to shoot. Oh, he passes it straight to Bazaar. Bazaar goes past the player and skies it over. Hopefully this will be a comfortable win for us. Corner, driven in. Viltard passes it across to Bastian. Bit of 1-2 there. Cleared by their defender. I think Kofi's up for this game. I think he wants to get a hat trick, I reckon. Fatar with the corner. Headed out there by, I think Kofi. Oh no, head, headed out by their, yeah, headed out by their player. Right, Viltard with another corner. Hopefully this one will get in this, no. That's a shame. Free kick, Fatar over the top. He's going to crack it from here, isn't he? Oh no, he doesn't. Places it to Dossu. Dossu with his fourth goal of the season. Oh, no. Five points clear now. I'm glad, I'm glad we've got like a bit of a cushion here. So if we do go on a bit of a bad run, it, we hope hopefully be able to keep in the automatic. Oh, here we go. Jinx myself. One one. Why do I open my big mouth? Fontaine and Bastian's not playing very well. Neither's Kofi, unfortunately. Right, firing up the players. There we go. That might have worked. Viltard with the corner, headed out. Pissard now. Passes it across to Drame. Oh, Viltard with the beautiful pass. Ah, oh. Vitar should have done better with that.
Right, another corner. Viltard again. Oh, what a goal by Fatar. I'm going to uh, show that again from behind the goal. So behind the goal, and then we'll click on this. This. Boosh, get in. Right, we're back in the lead. Coming into half time, which is good. Yeah, going back to the WWE show, um, everybody was doing the Jey Uso dance, including myself and my girlfriend, and we were really going for it as well. Um, and the uh, the Yeet catchphrase is so over with the live crowd. Honestly, they need they need to give Jey Uso. They need to. Uh, Bill J. Uso versus Damien Priest for SummerSlam, I reckon. Oh, 2-2. Two, two. Um, and then J. Uso win the title. Because, honestly, they've got something special with him. Whether they'll pull the trigger on him completely, I don't know. Um, but they really should. Oh, my God. What's going on here? All right, Fontaine, you're coming off. Bastion, you're coming off. This is ridiculous. We shouldn't be losing to these. <sighs> Not the best of episodes, is it? Thank God for that two point cushion. Come on, Baz. Get in. Lazard with his fifth goal of the season. All right, come on. Let's not let's not be fools now. Let's get this winning goal. Galvez. Come on, Bazard. Oh. Oh, we'll get it back though. Go on, Dasu. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Go on, that's good. That's a talented young player. Right, so you need to do some tinkering here. Uh, tactics. So he needs to swap over with Galvez. And then we'll put him over here. It lets me. Why is it not letting me do that? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come on. Come on, I'll put him here. Oh, my God. Thank you. <sighs> it's a great game for you neutrals, I tell you. Not good for me, though. Oh, yeah, talking about... Hit the post. How many times did Coventry hit the post in the extra time in that game? They were so unlucky. That goal should have been allowed as well. I, don't, I, just, I think it was really cruel. That would have been a great occasion for Coventry to go to an FA Cup. The fans for Coventry to go to an FA Cup final. They were the better team in the second half. They deserved to win that game. And I'm a Man United fan, but we, we didn't deserve to win that game. We were very lucky with the penalty shootout. Uh, very lucky that the goal got disallowed in extra time. It's not like we come out of it feeling like a winner. We just still feel like we're rubbish. Great ball. Go on, Baz. Yes, get in. Baz on track for his hat trick here. Showing Kofi that, uh, you know, if he starts underperforming, he'll get replaced. Got no time for sentiment here. And you've got players like Rubinho Vaz in, in uh, chomping at the bit to get first team football. Kofi needs to be top of his game every game. But yeah, we are six points clear now of second place. Right, and our rivals as well, Nancy. Galvez. Dossu. 
Did a nice bit of passing on go passing going here. Drame shot unfortunately over the bar. That's fine. I'm happy with this performance. Good result. Right, Fatah, well done. So, uh, I think, um, hold on, no. Uh, anyway, sorry, right, I'll be back in a sec for the last game of the episode. So, uh, here we are, last game of the episode. Um, usual lineup from the looks of it. Um, yeah, same lineup as last game. Unchanged team. I'm going to play FC Martiques. Or is it Martigues? It may be Martigues. I don't know. I need somebody from France to uh, tell me whether I'm saying it right or wrong. I'm not trying to be insulting. I just, I just say names how I see them spelt, which is never always the case with languages. Yeah, currently six points clear, so that's nice. Oh, I hit the post and then headed it over. Corner by Viltard. The Costina. Back to the goalie. Goalie passes it back to Boris. Boris would go over top ball but fails to connect to Gosu. Uh, Marta is passing it around now, trying to keep possession. We intercept it luckily. Uh, they get it back though. Very, very... Um, not the most technical game going on here. Very sloppy passing by both teams, I think. We've had four shots, one on target. They've only had one. Oh my god, I wonder what the hell that was then. That bloke in the white <laughs> that scared the sh I thought there was a ghost on the pitch. I thought what the hell's going on there? Uh, it's going to be one of them games, isn't it? We seem nervous every time we play lately. We only, I mean, we only just beat literally bottom of the league last game. Good ball. There we go. That's 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 uh, made my anxiety go away a bit. One nil to us. Batar. How many goals he's got for us so far? He's doing well this season. Eight goals in 14 games so far. Trying to catch up with Kofi by the looks of it. Kofi's not scored in, in quite a few games now, I think, since he's come back. He's, uh, he's not sharp enough at the moment, I don't think. Ooh, we nearly scored then, though. Get another attempt at it, hopefully. Oh, no. Oh, that was a terrible goal kick from them. Passing it around again, keeping possession. Now Boris has it. Kofi, over the top ball. A bit ambitious by him. Uh, Viltard. Ah. Uh, Terrible pass. We could have been punished then. A better team would have punished us then. Right. End of the first half. 1-0 up. Can't complain too much for that. Pressure's on Man City in the uh, title run-up now, isn't it? Liverpool and Arsenal both winning 
on the weekend. Um, puts the pressure back on Man City. I don't think Man City is going to win every game, so I think the I think the title is going to go down to the last game of the season. I just hope I just hope it's not Liverpool that win it as a Man United fan, and also someone that knows how some people are on the side games forums about Liverpool. Um, I'll never hear the end of it because, especially as I started a uh, a thread on the forums about who's going to win the Premiership title again first, Man United or Liverpool. So. <laughs> I've just got a feeling that's going to backfire on me. Right, let's put him there. Uh, De Costa's injured. Put him on. Ramey. But, hmm. uh, I put Vaz tail on. Well, I'm going to. I mean, sorry, not Vaz Tay. Uh, Vaz, right. And then I'll just put uh, Vaz there. You over there. Bit of a lopsided four going on there, but we'll see. See if that works out in our favour. Kofi to Galvez. Oh. Good first time ball. Unfortunately, Fatal fails to score that. I would like another goal before this game finishes, just to be on the safe side. Free kick to us. Fontaine gives it to Tete. Bastian. Bastian. Come on. Let's not concede. Ah. Uh, Milan Robin. Oh, no. It's not allowed. Thank God for that. Come on, let's get another goal here. Getting panicky now. I think they're going to equalise in a sec. Oh, God. Thank God for that. Come on, lads. Concentrate. Don't lose this now. That's it. Go on, Baz. Baz to the rescue. Look at him. Oh. He's just so bloody quick. How quick? What, what's his pace like? Has he got good acceleration pace? Uh, 11 acceleration, pace is 12. So it's not like massively uh, fast, but seems to do all right. Just for a laugh, I'm going to put my goalkeeper on as left back for the last couple of minutes, see what happens. Hopefully it won't be a disaster. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no. Come on, Baz, help me. Help me here. Thank you. Thank God for that. All right, let's just boot it out. There we go. Nice and easy. Go on, Baz. Let's get a let let's get a last minute goal. Come on. Galvez to Baz. Oh yes, here we go. Penalty. There's no point looking at VAR, that's definitely a penalty. Kofi. Hopefully with his first goal in quite a while for us. Yes, get in. 13th goal of the season. I'm glad he scored that. That'll get his confidence up. Get in. I think we're eight points clear now. No, six points, sorry. All right, Aaron. That's uh, the end of the episode then. Um, thank you as always. Uh, I'm just going to move this over here so you can see me. Uh, yeah, thank you as always. If you haven't subscribed to me, please subscribe. Honestly, I know everybody keeps going about all the time and you see these YouTubers, but there is a reason. Um, but yeah, I would appreciate it. And uh, like the video, leave a comment. Just anything just gets, gets the video, uh, gives the video a bit of help. So yeah, and I'll be back tomorrow with the next episode. Thanks again. Bye.